I'm Joe Humaris, a freestyle skater for Walker Skateboards and Ice Innovative Clothing Exchange. My home base is New York, but like most serious skaters, I enjoy traveling to competitions and exhibitions all over the country. There are basically three major forms of skateboarding, vertical, street style, and freestyle. Freestyle is to skating what hot dogging is to snow skiing. This is a highly individual and expressive form of skateboarding. Unlike other forms, it leaves virtually nothing to chance and everything to the skater's imagination. In other forms, you often must react to something, to the street, to the traffic, to an obstacle in your path, to the curb of a pool, or the size and dimensions of a particular half pipe. But freestyle is 100% active. The individual skater has the total freedom to create his tricks, and his creation is limited only by his own skill and imagination. Notice also the board. It's different from the regular street board in a number of ways. It's smaller and the wheels are set flush with a flat size to facilitate a number of tricks. Skateboarding is obviously not yet an Olympic sport, yet it's been around long enough to be taken seriously. It's a relatively new sport, and so we're like pioneers. That's kind of cool. And this is the undisputed world champion. You see how he moves smoothly, effortlessly, from one complex maneuver to another. Watching how graceful and easy he makes this look, you wouldn't know how extremely difficult most of these tricks are to master. There's nothing like trashing the better neighborhoods, like Beverly Hills. The skaters glide in, skate the area, then cut out before the cops arrive. The ramp literally lets you fly. It's a great feeling just pushing off into space. You sail off the lip at high speed and just float. A weightless feeling that's impossible to describe. And at the bottom, there's no water, no sand, no mat, no net. Just your skill and four little urethane wheels against all that concrete. Most times you win, but sometimes it's the pavement. All is seen as a challenge. The skaters will attempt to defy gravity and conquer the vertical surface.
A lot of the tricks are often created in homemade half pipes such as this. A bunch of skaters get together to hang out and have some fun. Someone tries something a little different. Someone else does a variation on it. And everybody's trying to improve on it. And by the end of the session, a new trick is born. Contests and demos are great. They give a lot of publicity to the sport and give skaters from all over the country an excuse to get together. They'll skate anything, cars, walls, curbs, swimming pools. They'll skate rush hour traffic, deserted parking lots. Or they'll skate off a ramp, garage roof, or off the side of a mountain. Anywhere, anytime, it's a way of life. And all the time they're improving, getting more daring, developing new techniques. What doesn't kill you makes you a better skater. This is a phenomenon the adult world hasn't a clue about. Until recently, the media has pretty much ignored skaters, and that was okay by then. Most are loners anyway. Now that the sport has got national coverage, things are changing. Skaters are getting featured in places like Time Magazine, Sports Illustrated, Life, and Rolling Stone. It's wild. America has discovered skateboarding. Some approve, others don't. But you can't please everybody. out badly and sooner or later everybody no matter how good they are bails totally loses it some pros say if you don't ever get hurt you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough the feeling is that a really conservative skater is not testing himself to the limits like they said in the movie the right stuff you're not pushing the outside of the envelope the truth is probably somewhere in between you've got to progress but at a sane and safe pace first thing you realize is that sooner or later you're going to take a fall so prepare yourself by wearing at least knee pads and a helmet.
Vertical skating is a blast to watch. It takes place usually in a contained area such as an empty swimming pool or a specially built half pipe, virtually any vertical surface. When you drop into a half pipe, you extend the leading edge of the board over the coping and then transfer your weight forward and take the plunge. At first, it's a bit scary, but soon you do it second nature. Coming out of the flat part at the bottom, you pump to gain momentum, to thrust yourself up the opposite side. It looks a bit like perpetual motion. There are a wide variety of tricks that can be performed in a half pipe. Skaters have their own favorite spots. This is one of the more famous. It's the semi-legendary Beverly Ball, a drainage ditch set high in the hills of Beverly Canyon. Unless you know exactly how to get there, it's almost impossible to find. Its varied terrain gives skaters a wide variety of angles to carve and a new set of tricks to perform. There are hidden places like this all over the country, and every day skaters are finding them and performing maneuvers that would cause the average person's hair to stand on end. Skaters become more experienced and accomplished. Tricks become more complex and require more sophisticated terrain. Skaters grew less willing to compromise on second-rate skating surfaces. They grew reluctant to fight for space in park areas crowded with non-skaters who would often innocently wander in the path of a cruising skater. They needed and deserved and felt they had truly earned a place of their own. Thus was born the skate park, like this one in Del Mar, California. With a variety of bowl-shaped areas, snake runs, and freestyle areas, Del Mar is ideal for the skateboarder. This is where they come to skate and come to party. Here you can see some pretty intense maneuvers. Before long, others may appear in every major city in the country. The skateboard scene is all-encompassing. It goes beyond skating. It has its own music, its own vocabulary, its own wardrobe, magazines, and even ethics. It's like a philosophy. It's a lifestyle. It's perhaps the largest unrecognized subculture in the country. And it's growing, growing at a phenomenal rate. I don't think anybody really understands why, but skateboarding is once again a monster hit. And not just America. People don't realize just how big skating is in Europe. Those guys are really good. 
I would consider Pierre Andre from France to be among the best freestyle skaters in the world. Some of the West Germans are really hot too, not to mention the Swedes. And with the new breeding grounds will come the next generation of superstars and the next level of super stunts. For the true skater, too much is never enough. He will work his tricks into ever newer, more complex, more dangerous, and more spectacular maneuvers. Thank you.